This is a tin socket engine. Okay. This man built, hand built tin socket. Mechanical masterpiece. Okay, for you gearheads, this is a 10 cycle engine. It's sort of two cycle, four cycle, so this is 10 cycle. Pretty ingenious how this fella created this thing. He worked on it for three months, uh, off and on. And it's a combination of Briggs and Stratton parts, air compressor parts. This is a uh, head off a of Volkswagen, I believe. Uh, so it's, it's got a hodgepodge of pieces parts to create this, this, this monstrosity, but it runs. First, I'm fixing to show you the video, but first I want to try to show you a little bit of how it operates. Um, you imagine this is top, top dead center as you come, or, come around. You see right here, now this is the intake, intake valve here, I'm trying to get in the camera shot. So that's the intake, you suck in the fuel air mixture, come up on compression, then we fire, then we go the exhaust stroke. And these are these are roller skate wheels. So in the cam, this is the cam here. So you can see it comes up, this trips the exhaust valve. But what's unique about this, you'll notice, is this long duration and the size of the sprocket on the camshaft. The camshaft is running a five to one ratio to the crankshaft. Unlike conventional engines, they're always two to one that's how we get the, the additional strokes. So once it fires, it'll make these di additional revolutions freewheeling because the exhaust valve you can see is held open by this long duration of the camshaft. And you'll hear it kind of sounds unique when it runs. But it's pretty fascinating how he put this together and how, how he got it to work. Just uh, enjoyed, I've seen this the last two years when I come to the show. It's my, one of my best things I like to listen to and enjoy. The ignition comes from an old buzz box off a T-Model Ford and the points, because you got a little battery here, and the, the points are, are right here. As the camshaft comes comes around, this little piece here trips it. i to make sure I'm in the camera shot. But I'm going to show you here. As it comes around, when that touches, right there it is I believe. You hear, you hear the buzz box. I can hear it buzzing here. And that that crazy, creates a spark. And the carburetor is from a, a, a just a water spigot valve. He adjusts his mixture with the knob here. And this the re reduction here creates the choke. And he runs it on Coleman fuel. And the ratio, I think, is 2.7 to 1. Very low ratio. One reason why it will operate and actually run is because of mass. We've got this big, heavy flywheel here off of a uh, air compressor. Then plus we also have the cast iron flywheel off the Briggs engine itself, and ad an additional flywheel. So with all that mass, it fires one time, and it can sit in freewheel until it fires again. So, pretty unique creation. So I'll fire it up here, or let him fire it up, and uh, show you what it does. This is a 10 cycle engine. Okay. This man built, hand built, 10 cycle. Oh, water, yeah, I see, okay. 
Thank you for enriching her, huh? We're making jet. Yes. She has a homemade jet, fixed jet in there. And I only have 2.7 to 1 compression ratio on this. So with low compression, you also have the vacuum. So I'm running quite a bit of turbo. Mechanical masterpiece. This is a 10 cycle engine. Okay. This man built, hand built, 10 cycle. Mechanical masterpiece. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of that fabulous creation. But if you want to see more stuff like this, check out the Florida Flywheeler Show. I'll put a link to the video. We'll put a link to the website below the video. Uh, also, I'm going to put another link to a video that I did last year. It's a lot longer video where I showed a little bit of what I saw every day for four days. And you get a better idea of what all there is to see and do there. They got a big boondocking area. Well, here you go. I'll show you. This is the area cell. It is huge area. I think one. sometimes you have like 15,000 people show up or more. And to give you an idea of where it's at, let's zoom out. And... There it is. So if you're in Florida this winter, you want to check out a fabulous show, look this up. You can come check it out. And again, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. See you. Bye.